it's Shannon and if you missed my live streaming last Thursday where we had a fun craft night and together we made some fun felt flowers uh, this tutorial is for you if you missed out on that because somehow I accidentally deleted that live stream off my channel and I apologize for that but I wanted to make sure everybody still got a chance to learn how to do this so today I'm bringing you a felt flower tutorial and we're gonna be making five felt flowers I'm also gonna throw the leaves in there because they're super easy and simple now on to the supplies you're gonna need very minimal supplies for this which is awesome and you may already even have a lot of this around your home so the main thing of course that you're going to need for these flowers are felt these felt squares i picked these up from hobby lobby and they were 33 cents each so you pick out whatever colors you would like that would go with your project your occasion or your home's decor so you're also going to need a simple glue gun this one is a high tip glue gun and I always get questioned about what brand and what type of glue gun that I use. And I like to use the AdTech Precision Pro. This one's kind of nice because it sits on a table and it doesn't like flap over or anything. You also need some glue sticks. Also, you want to grab a sharp pair of scissors and a marker or a pin. And that is it. That's all you're going to need for this. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to bring you in close for this tutorial and kind of talk and walk our way through it. So this is the very first flower we're gonna start with. Kind of looks like a little mum, which is perfect for fall time right now, but in different colors, it work for spring or any time of the year too. So I grabbed um, this one I'm going to actually use. This is called Ivory, this colored felt. And you're just going, it depends. It depends on how big you want your flower. You can fold your felt this way, or you can make a bigger flower and fold it this way. So I'm gonna make a bigger flower. So I'm just gonna take the edge, fold it over, and kind of crease it down. I brought my ruler over too so that you guys have a better idea of the sizes that I'm making here. So this is about an inch and a half fold. So unfolded, you'll need about three inches worth of felt. So once you have it folded over, you're just gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut a straight line up the felt. So now that I have the size of felt that I would like, I'm just gonna fold it back over the way I had it and kind of make a tube. So you can see there, you have a fold side and then you have the straight edge side and we're just gonna run a bead of glue along the edge side and then we'll fold it back over and that will keep it in place. All right, so now we have our felt prepped and ready to go. You're just gonna take your scissors and we're gonna make little slits up, all the way up along the folded side, the side that you did not put your glue on. You're gonna do it up this folded side. Right, so here's what it looks like with all of those slits in there and then all you need to do is roll the bottom roll it up like this and then every little once in a while you're gonna put a little glue to secure it so here is the first flower Super easy, right? So let's move on to the next one. All right, so for this next flower, which looks like this, it is extremely close to the one we, the first one we just made, but there's a little twist. So we're gonna make, we're gonna start this flower out the same way we started the last one. You're just gonna fold over your felt and cut up the side and then re-glue that edge down. Okay, so we have this just like the last flower where we kind of made ourselves a little tube there. So we have this edge that's glued and then the folded side. Just like the last one, we're gonna cut slits in it and instead of going straight across, we're actually gonna do these at an angle. 
So I like to start off by just clipping off the corner so we don't have a corner in there. And then you just go down this whole length, cutting at an angle. So that end piece I also cut all the way down at an angle. Now we're just going to take this and roll it up just like the last one. Alright, so here is that second flower. Super cute. Very similar to this one, but it definitely has a different kind of look. So group together, these would be so cute. You can make a couple different small ones, different colors, and those look really nice together. Okay, now on to our third flower, which is this cute little rosette. This one is extremely simple as well, so let's get started. So I'm using a CD here for my template. However, if you just want to kind of eyeball a circle on your own, that is fine too. This is about four and a half inches in diameter, just to give you an idea. And if you're going to use a template, this is when a marker or a pen will come in handy. So I'm just going to trace this circle and cut it out. All right, so I have my circle. I made sure to kind of cut inside that black line mark so that I didn't have black edge around my felt. And now we're just going to cut a spiral all the way around into the center of this circle. So you just start with your scissors at the edge and kind of cut it. So you have a point right here and then you taper your way out. So now I have this all cut and I like to leave a little circle on the inside right there because that will give me a nice base to wrap this around. So you kind of like fold this middle guy up and make a little bowl or a little cone shape. And then you're just going to take your felt and Go in a circle and use some hot glue as you go. All right, so there is flower number three. And here is the fourth flower we're going to work on. I think this one's probably my favorite. It's just kind of fluffy and it just looks like it's got a lot of life to it and definitely different from the other ones we are making. So for this one, you are going to need to draw out on your felt seven circles. I'm going to be using the bottom of this cup that I have and the measurement of the bottom of this glass is actually just two inches wide. So anything that's close to that, you'll get about this size. But of course you can always up your uh, size and even use like as big as this circle and make big flowers or smaller and make smaller flowers. So I'm just going to take my glass and I'm going to trace seven circles onto the felt. one of the circles you could always also take your felt fold it in half and then cut and that way you'll get double without having to cut so many times that'll save you a little time Okay, 
So I actually have eight circles here. You're gonna need one for the bottom. And if you're gonna make bigger flowers, you actually may need even more than this. So kind of just cut a few, and then if you need more, you can go back and always cut more. Now, to actually make the petals of this flower, you're going to go one circle at a time. So for this petal, all you need to do is fold your circle in half, kind of pinch down here at the bottom to keep it together, and we're gonna weave one of the sides up to the top. So this one went towards us, and this side we're going to actually push behind. So you can kind of see that it makes an S shape right there. And then it also on this side gives us a point. So I'm gonna do that again for you to see. So you just have your felt circle, you fold it in half, you grab the bottom in the middle, you fold one of these corners up towards you. So here's what it looks like. The first side folded, and then you're gonna grab this one behind and fold it away from you. And then you will get that S shape. Pretty neat, huh? All right, so once we have it folded, we're just gonna take some glue and glue it inside of these folds. You may need to put just a tad inside, depending on how well your glue holds up, but you may need to put some right in the middle to there. But if you put enough inside these folds on the outside, it should be good. Now as you fold these and glue them, you're gonna use one of your circles for the bottom and you're just going to take a little glue, put it on the point on one side and you're going to put this right around the edge, kind of like a pizza. So you kind of have a pizza slice right there, okay? And then you're just gonna keep folding and gluing all the way around. So I have them all attached all the way around, like I said, just, looks like, just like a pizza. And now we're gonna make one to go right in the middle. All right, so here's what it looks like, and then all you have to do is fluff it up. And you have a beautiful, bloomed felt flower. Here's the other one. All right, and this petal flower right here is our last flower. Let me show you how to make this. So for this flower, I ended up just using a Gatorade lid for my circle template. And this is about an inch and a half wide. So depending on how big you want your flower, mine is just in a single row. You can always add more layers to this. For this one right here, you'll need five circles. Okay, so I am just gonna cut one because I have several already prepped and made here. But to get to this point, all you'll need to do is take your circle and your scissors, and you're gonna cut a slit right into the center of your flower. Just like that. Like hot glue all over my fingers. All right, so then you're going to overlap one flap over the other. Let's do this close. All right, so one flap over, so it curls. So you're kind of curling this petal up and then you'll have one flap on the back going this way. And you'll just add a little hot glue to keep it in place. All 
right? And then you can just stack these one on top of each other, one at a time. And hot glue as you go. That way you kind of have a cute little petaled flower. So this is five petals. Yeah, that one got glued. All right, so five petals or six petals, or you could do seven or eight petals. You can make these bigger and make a bigger flower, or you could add these petals back here and kind of give it an even fuller look all the way around. But here is the look of what is on my wood sign. You glue it together and I'll show you what I did to embellish it. And for the middle, because you don't really want to see all of these overlapping layers, I just used some pretty pearls. These are ivory pearls that I had and used those and gathered those and glued them in the middle. So let me do that real quick. I just thought that kind of gave it a nice little finishing touch. You could also use rhinestones or buttons, anything you have around the house that would go with your decor. So I'm gonna throw this in there because it's always nice to have some leaves to go with your flowers. And I did this extremely simple leaf design. And it's just a curve and a curve and kind of a football shape. So what I did is I just drew some leaves, folded my felt over and then cut. So that way I had a bunch of different leaves. cute little leaves. You can make them different sizes just like I did. Like these are a little bit smaller. These are a little bit bigger. And then let me show you them all gathered up because they look really, really cute bunched together just like this. So see how I put some leaves kind of layered, layered the flowers, and it really added the perfect touch to this little wood sign. I love these little flowers. You could use them on so many different projects from accessories to home decor to gift giving. And I hope that this video inspired you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.